I never thought I'd say this, but gentlemen and like two ladies, um, Battlestate has dropped one of the best wipes that I think we have ever had in Escape from Tarkov. Genuinely, if you are waiting to get back into Tarkov, there is no better time than right now. First, I'm going to talk about the new map. I don't have too much to say. Um, it has low scav numbers. The quests are very basic. Uh, the map itself is straightforward. It's hard to get lost on. Overall, it is very serviceable for what it is trying to be. A place for newer players to go to to learn the basic mechanics of Escape from Tarkov before they get thrust into the harder, more PvP-oriented maps. They can come here, learn the mechanics without getting swamped by tryhards, groups of players, and just an overwhelming number of scabs. I will say, the first few days on this map are going to be a little rough solely because every person has the exact same quests, they're all going to be going onto this map to the exact same location, and it is just going to be an absolute crap show. You're going to be running into groups of people very often. Once most people have completed those quests and have moved on to different maps, this one is likely going to be a lot more chill and a lot easier for newer players to experience. Overall, I like the map, straightforward, has a good atmosphere, and will be perfectly serviceable as a training ground for newer players who are just stepping into Tarkov for the very first time. Now I would like to talk about the thing that pretty much everyone has been focusing on, and that is the recoil. It is so much nicer because every weapon feels viable. In previous wipes, an unmodded M4 was entirely unusable. I wouldn't even take my M4 into raid until I had done a few raids and managed to get some mods so that it was usable and wouldn't climb to the ceiling. Now, all I have to do is strap a sight on the M4 and it is perfectly serviceable. Hell, even with the carrying handle, I was still able to find quite a bit of success with this thing. So. So if you have an unmodified weapon, don't be super afraid to use it. Sure, the sights are going to be a little rough, they might put you at a bit of a disadvantage, but it isn't going to be a complete handicap like it would be in previous wipes. The Saiga 9 is a laser. I mean, it's almost like it's a full-length 9mm carbine, so it really shouldn't have kicked that much in the first place, but nowadays it has virtually no recoil whatsoever. I, tr I use this thing on woods a lot, and it was an absolute dream. This weapon absolutely carried me through the early game quests on Woods, and I enjoyed using it so much. It's just such a satisfying little weapon. There's no recoil. You can just tap, tap, tap away. I think people are praising the new recoil because overall it gives the player more control. It makes you feel like you have more agency in a fight. Before you would have these fights where sometimes it felt like you didn't lose because you were outskilled. You lost because the random recoil just totally Flintstone outlined this person. Nowadays, if I miss all my shots, it's plain and obvious that I just whiffed everything. So it feels like you have a lot more... It feels like your own skill level matters a lot more in these fights. Another good thing is, while attachments still give you advantages, they aren't going to win fights for you. Before, if you had an unmodded weapon, especially if you didn't have a sight, good luck. You were completely screwed. There was You were going to lose 90% of the time against someone who had a, a modded weapon. Mods certainly still give you an advantage, but they aren't going to dictate the fight entirely. If someone has a modded weapon and you don't, you're certainly at a disadvantage, but you aren't completely screwed. Another big thing about recoil is pistols are actually viable now. Genuinely, I do not go into a raid without a pistol sidearm now. This is coming from the guy who has hated pistols for a long time. Pistols in Tarkov before were not viable, they were not worth carrying, they didn't have really any merits that made them worth using. Nowadays, they are snappy, they have virtually no recoil, and they are perfectly serviceable. They are very, very good weapons. You could go into a raid with just a pistol and still be incredibly effective. Stirrup was an absolute breeze this wipe. My personal favorite pistol has been the PL-15, but basically any pistol will do. Like, look at this. I see a guy pop out of a bush, I panic, I tap a few rounds over to him, I killed him. I didn't even realize I killed him. We were waiting, we were trying to fight him, my buddy ended up dumping like 20 rounds into his corpse. I killed him with the first shot. Pistols are lovely now. You don't have to perform a blood ritual and offer up a prayer to some eldritch horror in order for them to be effective. They're just good now, and it feels awesome. In truth, recoil might even be a bit too good nowadays. Now, believe me, 
I'm not complaining. I love this so much, I'm having a blast. But if they were to tweak a few things, just slightly increase the recoil on some weapons, I think that might be better overall. But if they keep it the way it is, I'm not gonna complain, I'm perfectly happy with it. Another thing they added seamlessly was vaulting. It's surprising to me how noticeable it is and how much I love it. At first you're like, oh, okay, you simply hop over an object, you know, big deal. But no, it genuinely feels awesome to have. It's such a quality of life improvement. What I especially love about vaulting is how it was implemented. Yeah, on the larger obstacles, you kind of got to slow down. You got to get real close. You got to hold space and you can get over it. But let's say you're sprinting and there's a small wall in front of you. You don't have to jump over it. You can vault over it and you don't lose your speed. I think this is really good because it encourages movement. It encourages a non-stagnant playstyle. But if you want to be a rat and sit in a corner, then vaulting can also help you there as you can get into some pretty cheeky spots a lot easier than you could before. Some people have been saying they should get rid of jumping in general. No, don't do that. Um, mostly because A, jumping does get you out of glitched locations where you can't really vault out of. And also, jumping should just remain in the game. So, I love vaulting, but for the people who are saying jumping should be removed, I don't think so. I think that's, I think that's a bit of a step too far. But vaulting, awesome, seamlessly added, it works great. Now, something that I didn't expect were the ammo changes. Ammo is scarce now. 545 PS ammo is a proper 3 unlock. M855 is a Peacekeeper 3 unlock. Keep in mind, these are pretty standard rounds. These aren't anything all that special, and they are unlocked pretty darn late. But here's the thing, I don't really have a problem with it. Recoil is so easily controllable that if armor-piercing ammo was commonly available, the time to kill would be next to nothing. Armor would be nearly completely useless. This game would become a nightmare overnight because the millisecond you walk into the open, you're just gonna get ripped apart by AP ammo that is all perfectly lined up on you. And that's probably not the best. Another good thing about this is it keeps different weapons viable longer. SMGs that would have been completely outclassed by um, 545 AKs loaded with PP are now just as viable and stay viable longer. It extends the early wipe in a way that I think is pretty solid and overall makes armor piercing rounds feel a lot more special. Which they should. Armor piercing ammo is not just a extremely common, readily available, every general store and every house is going to be fully stocked with it. So I think this is good. One thing of note though is it seems like higher quality ammo is found on the ground more often. Though you can't buy it from traders, I have found a ton of PS ammo all over the floor. Um, I found 100 rounds of 300 blackout AP in one raid uh, next to the suppressor shack on woods. A buddy of mine found 100 rounds of 995 in a pack. So while the ammo is less available from traders, it seems to be found more easily. So if you're hard up for ammo, just scab on a reserve, go into the fortress on customs, go to the suppressor shack, you'll find quality ammo. Overall, I think this change is quite good. I don't have any problems with it. What I will say is if you didn't believe in helmets before, definitely start bringing them. I have bounced many rounds off the dome piece and I highly recommend you wear a helmet. This then leads me to armor. Personally, I don't notice too much of a difference. Um, my armor does seem to take less damage overall, and there are a few rounds that seem to slip between the plates. I think I've only been killed once to the unarmored side of my armor, so overall some people have stated that they notice a big difference. They don't think a couple of friends I played with feel like armor is less impactful overall nowadays. Personally, I don't, I'm not seeing it. I don't notice a massive difference. That being said, it is kind of nice to be able to just swap out a spent plate instead of having to sell the entire armored rig and buy a brand new one. Um, overall, I don't think this change is necessarily better and I don't think it's worse. I think it's just kind of different. It's the way the game is now, so it's something to get used to. And the final major thing of note that I have experienced in the early wipe is the snow. Oh my, what, what do I say about this? I love it so much. Seasons are on their way to Tarkov and it is incredible. Snow in Escape from Tarkov was one of those things that it was like, oh, wouldn't it be cool? But I honestly never expected them to actually implement it and holy crap, it is awesome.
It just brings an entirely new atmosphere to Tarkov. I would even go so far as to say it's beautiful. I mean, going onto woods early in the morning is nothing short of picturesque. There are a few annoying pieces to it. Uh, the crunchiness when you're running on the snow can be a bit loud but that's just a slight change to your volume mixer. It's, it's not difficult to fix. It's interesting to me that a change like this can make every single map feel so fresh and so different. The maps themselves are the exact same. They pretty much just have a different shader pack on them, but they feel so cool and so new and I love playing on them. The atmosphere is entirely different. The mood can shift from, oh, it's this beautiful sunrise or sunset to just being straight up cold and creepy once, once the sun actually goes down and it gets dark out. I love it. I hope they explore it more, maybe even add in like snowstorms or blizzards and stuff like that to just really immerse yourself in. What if, I think it would be pretty cool if they added like covers for um, helmets and armor pieces that were completely white. So you can snow camo out your PMC. That would be so cool. In summary, I have high hopes for this wipe. I see opportunities for shenanigans, thrills and fun and I cannot wait to play it more. I was disappointed that I had to stop playing Tarkov just to make this video, and I haven't felt that way in a long time. So overall, Battlestate Games has completely knocked it out of the park with this update. I am loving every second of it. If you have been waiting to come back to Escape from Tarkov, now is the time to try it. So yeah. I'm, uh, I'm loving the wipe, and I can't wait to play more, and I can't wait to make content on it. So, um, be on the lookout for that. Other than that, just thank you so much for watching, especially all the way to the end, and I, uh, I hope you have a good one.